Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In this video I'll be sharing my favourite perfumes to wear at Christmas time. So I feel like a Christmas roundup of perfumes is a good excuse for me to extend my winter choices. It is a scent category that I love. I feel like in the colder months you can go for those gourmand scents, woody ones, vanilla ones. And so yeah, some of these perfumes could easily be just winter scents in general. However, it is true to say that with a few of these perfumes having been Christmas gifts in the past, or the fact that I bought them at this time of year, that is the reason why I tend to go for them as Christmas choices. Those reminders of happy memories. And yeah, so that's why I have a particular Christmas roundup as well as a winter one. First up, we have Black Opium by YSL. The notes in this perfume are pear and orange blossom in the top, in the middle, coffee, jasmine and licorice, and in the base, vanilla, patchouli, cedar and cashmere wood. And this scent was a gift to me from my husband in 2018, I believe. And yeah, I am surprised to have found out that this was launched in 2014, so it took a while to get into my collection. Let's give it a test. It is really good. This is a department store smelling scent for me and is a really good rich coffee scent, which I feel in filming this video, I might come to love all over again. I love it for Christmas time anyway. I love the, like the nostalgia it gives me of that Christmas with my husband. But in recent times, Le Parfum by YSL has kind of overtaken it because with that one, it's much more of a sticky, sweet vanilla. But smelling this, takes me back to my love for it as a coffee scent. Really lovely, so great for winter, and I remember wearing it on that Christmas day and just feeling like I smelled good. Getting some compliments from family and feeling like I had a really good quality scent. It is also true to say that at that time, the money that Sam would have spent on this is more than I would have spent on a perfume for myself for sure. So yeah, it did feel like a really nice treat as well. I have made a good way through this bottle a little bit more than half, that's rare for me. So yeah, it's certainly a scent I enjoy. And at Christmas time, with that lovely rich coffee, the vanilla and the patchouli in the base, you've got something good and strong that yeah, I absolutely think would be a really good choice on Christmas day. And if it's not too late, one that you could put on your Christmas list as well. This scent is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. The notes in this are pear and raspberry, coconut and pink rose, and in the base, macaroons and musk. And it might seem like an unlikely choice as a Christmas perfume, but again, this is all about the fact that this was bought for me as a gift. And I'm feeling lucky here, because if I remember rightly, this is the Christmas that Sam bought me seven perfumes. So yeah, very lucky indeed. And let's just have a little nod to how much this has been used as well. I have reviewed this one recently for my Ariana Grande collection video. So I will of course link that below. This is a really unusual smell. This is coconut with a little twist, really fun, sweet, but musky. And I've said this about the Ariana Grande perfumes that they're not particularly sugary sweet. They've all got kind of something different about them and they project really well. So this will be noticed on you. I love this perfume. So yeah, this is just Christmas for me when I smell it. And I remember receiving my bottle and you know, just opening up the box, sitting on the couch, admiring it. That feeling, I mean, it's a bit like being back to being a child, isn't it? And getting your toys and admiring them. And that's what perfume does for me. So I loved receiving this one. This will always feel Christmassy for me. And it was launched, you know, not too long before Christmas. So it was one that I was testing in store, excited and hoping to get. And that is why for me, this is a favorite Christmas scent. It does ordinarily come in its um, pink kind of heart-shaped case, a bit like a broken heart, not very Christmassy. Um, but yeah, I keep it out of that because um, storage issues. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one at Christmas time. Thank you, next by Ariana Grande. This next perfume is Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64 by Kayali, and it was launched last year in 2022. I get the benefit here of the notes on the back, and we've got vanilla, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, raw oud, and sugared patchouli. And I was lucky enough to receive this in PR last year, and at first, I liked it. I remember not thinking it was a love and I have come to just adore this perfume completely. And I kind of want to 
spray it on my skin as well, but I'm not sure it would go with what I've already put on. This is just so yummy and I just want to breathe this in completely. This is like a rich, and it feels golden, it's got that golden rum in there and it smells expensive. It's wintry, it's that gourmand feeling, it's sugary. And I have a funny relationship with this perfume because it reminds me of November, actually, um, and December, and that build up to Christmas last year, and a kind of real happiness feeling and an excitement feeling before quite a hard time in our lives. So it can kind of just take me back to that excitement. But yeah, to smell it now again is to feel good. I've brought it back into circulation that this is feel good because it's so yummy and it, yeah, I know it preceded a hard time, but I love the fact that it is all about the good times for me when I smell it. It's so rich and I'm sad to say it is limited edition, but it's still available now. You can still buy it. So if you're able to head to my TikTok shop, as I film, it is on there. Um, I just love all the Kaoli perfumes and I need them all, but this is the one that gives me that wintry, Christmassy, nostalgic feeling. This is Vanilla Royale, a really well done scent. This perfume is Hidden Fantasy by Britney Spears. The notes are neroli, orange and tangerine in the top, more tangerine, lily, clove and sweet notes in the middle, and in the base, vanilla, amber, sandalwood and more woods. And I've talked about this perfume a few times with my different Britney videos. And it wasn't an obvious Britney love for me. I felt it was a bit different and it wasn't like that sugary sweet fantasy feeling, but I've come to love and genuinely love it, not just appreciate it, but love it as a Christmas perfume. So last year, not to be too weird and specific on dates, but I remember wearing it on the 23rd of December and a lot of it and it was projecting. Of course it was, I was covered in the stuff and my husband complimented it and it is a burst of orange and spices just like you would expect for Christmas time. So I'm not sure how that didn't kind of come about in the marketing really and it be a Christmas time scent. How cute would that be? So cute. There should be more Christmas perfumes. Yeah, I love it. It's really satisfying. Kind of got a sort of thirst quenching th feel about it of all that orange going on. But like a little candied, like, I mean, not that I eat this kind of thing, but like maybe how I'd imagine a Christmas pudding smelling like, um, yeah, candied fruit. Really, really good. Love the clove in there. And with this red bottle, you can buy it so cheaply as well. This has sold quite well over on my TikTok shop. So do go and have a look, see if you can find yourself a good price for this bottle. I love it. I save it now for Christmas time. I absolutely want to be wearing this as we approach Christmas day. Yeah, that is hidden fantasy. This perfume is Empress by Soki London. And the notes are strawberry, peony, rose, popcorn, patchouli, and toffee. And in the same way that Vanilla Royale by Kaali has that kind of reminder of a really good time before a bad time, this does that for me as well. This makes me feel really happy to smell because it just takes me back to lovely times and I had to kind of, yeah, just put it in that Christmas category because it was right before Christmas that I reviewed this for YouTube last year. And it smells so good. There are those who find this too heavy on the patchouli, but as I love a patchouli note, that's no bad thing. And in fact, my sister has recently said how much she likes patchouli, so she can try this on her next visit too. This is so fun with the popcorn and strawberry notes, two notes I don't feel we see enough in the perfume world. Um, yeah, I love this. I spoke very highly of this when I reviewed it. Um, it lasts so well. I mean, I wore this a couple of days ago at night and then my husband noticed it. He said, you know, what are you wearing? That smells really good. And then yesterday in a different outfit, I can still smell it. So this is a perfume that lasts really well. It's so good, so addictive and yummy. And if you need a little index into what it smells like, think, Jimmy Choo's EDP with that toffee note. So yeah, Empress is really good. And um, I know Sophie, I've met her at events and she has another scent, Aphrodite, and she's got more along the way next year. So I'm excited to see what her line brings, but yeah, Empress is certainly my favorite. How could I resist those yummy notes? And I'm really impressed with how long it lasts. It's Christmassy for me because of when I received my bottle and when I reviewed it, but be that as it may, this is still a winter scent for sure. This is a 
yummy, heavy gourmand scent that will have you smelling good. This is I Want You by Jimmy Choo. In the top we have bitter almond and rose, in the middle of the scent cherry, vetiver and jasmine and in the base vanilla, oak moss, amber and also tonka. And I was about to take the lid off and then remembered we don't have that over this one. We spray from the top of the scent. I have the first one in this line, I Want You, and I love it as a beautiful, well-projecting peach and vanilla scent. This came along and felt like the equivalent. This feels like the cherry equivalent of that perfume. And let's have a spray. Oh, it's good. I'm getting the oak moss a lot more this time. It's really nice, it projects just as well as the original I Want You does, and it's rich and it's cherry, and I just decided it could be a Christmas perfume for me. I feel like I received it in PR from Essential, actually, at this time of year, and so yeah, it had to be a Christmas love. I've recently bought my sister a bottle of this, and she loves it. She's quite particular, actually. That is my sister, Rebecca. She's more particular with her perfumes than I am, um, or my sister, Catherine, is, and so yeah, for her to like something is high praise indeed. This is a really good, Cherry scent with that lovely bitter almond note in the top. Really good and really long lasting. So yeah, I love to wear this at Christmas time because I want to feel festive and get noticed. I wore it in the day on Saturday and we were out kind of lunch and pantomime, celebrating vibes. But yeah, you do well to wear this in the day at Christmas but in the evenings for all the festivities and celebrations as well. This is Stash by SJP. In the top of this scent, we have black pepper, sage and grapefruit notes. In the middle, pistachio, patchouli and cedar, and in the base, vetiver, olibanum and musk. And with this perfume, I was thinking, it's kind of a Christmas wear for me because it is so strong. So I guess for me, it's like, if I'm only going to be around family, I can wear something really strong and not worry that it's maybe um, causing offense. And if you've tried stash, you might know what I mean, because this, some say, feels like a niche quality scent. It's really quite unusual and I can smell it in the air now. Oh, great memories. It's got more grapefruit over time. This is one that my sister needs to try. She would like this. This is so peppery and kind of medicinal and absolutely feels like a niche standard scent with the different ones that I've tried over the years. I love the olibanum note and I've read it described as a church smell like those wooden benches. That, for me, is the way into this perfume and how it smells. A really strong, peppery, woody smell that I love to smell of, but I know isn't everybody's taste necessarily. So that is what made it a Christmas scent for me, as well as the fact that I think this featured in the seven perfumes my husband brought me, bought for me that Christmas a few years ago. It's a little harder to get hold of now, but when you do so, it is a great price and worth snapping up if you just want something, yeah, really just deep and woody in your collection. It's so good. This and Covert for me are Sarah Jessica Parker's best perfumes for sure. So unusual smelling, so good. And ones where I feel we're getting her actual personal taste as well. So yeah, stash at Christmas for me because I can be free and be with family and well, if they don't like it, that's, you know, they're with me, they've got no choice. And, and wear a really strong perfume that maybe in my day-to-day -day life I wouldn't wear as much. This perfume is Ebony Wood from the Zara and Jo Malone collaboration. And the notes are Ebony, Cloves and Pink Pepper. And this scent for me is a combination of the fact that I bought it at Christmas time, but also that I genuinely think such a woody scent like this is just perfect for Christmas time. So yeah, I bought mine on a city break in Liverpool. This would have been 2019, just before Christmas, and it was a really festive, lovely visit, and I adored this. And bought it, yeah, straight away after testing in Zara. And it's so rich, and I recently read, and I wish I could say who it was who'd said this, it was such a good observation, that this was kind of how you'd expect like a little fairy world, like at the base of a tree, to smell like, that kind of beautiful, like magical woodiness. And I read with the ebony note that that's kind of an inspired, like imagined note that's inspired by really like ready kind of woods. So it feels kind of like fantasy smelling this. 
I love that there's the pepper in there. I like clove. It's just beautiful and it's really good on the skin. It lasts so well. When your skin gets warm, this just smells amazing and addictive and draws you in. I haven't really worn too much of this, but I think I just really so strongly associate it with Christmas time that I keep it for then. So yeah, when I do get my day of wearing this, there will be a lot sprayed. I won't hold back and I will really enjoy this woody scent. This feels like another one that if I, and when I should say, have a fragrance line, I would want this kind of woodiness represented in there because yeah, it's really enjoyable to me. I think you can still get hold of this one. So yeah, do check out Ebony Wood, a really well done, beautifully woody, warm, perfect scent for Christmas. This scent is Eilish by Billie Eilish. In the top of this one, we have sugar, mandarin, orange, and red berries. In the middle, vanilla, spices, and rose. And in the base, tonka, amber, woods, and musk. This bottle is a little bit of a piece that I've talked about before. And I'm, yeah, one or the other. I mean, it's really out there and displayed for me in the home, or it's tucked away. It depends what I'm doing and what I'm reviewing. So this was a gift for me from my husband last Christmas. So for me, it's got that lovely um, reminder of having something new and again, being a bit like a child again, playing with it, opening up, testing it. You know, I had the box there. And this is a really lovely spicy vanilla scent that's addictive. And I've said before, kind of takes me back to those teen body sprays. Now I love a body mist even still. I have a body mist collection. I think they can be so well done, but there is a certain smell for me that is like that nostalgic vanilla. And to say a PE changing room feels like a huge um, downgrade, but I mean it as a good thing. Those kind of yummy vanilla concoctions that might remind some of us of the 90s. Yeah, kind of a heady vanilla with spice. And so you're great for Christmas with spicy notes and vanilla. But for me, that personal love for being a gift. And what a great gift because, because it's such a piece because it's so unusual. So yeah, I've got the big 100 milliliter there. I do appreciate Eilish number two a little more now. I'd like to add that to my collection. And we've got our third one on the way as well. So yeah, I can't wait to give that one a sniff. This perfume is Unbreakable Joy by Chloe and Lamar. In the top of this one, we have champagne and spices. In the middle, chocolate, jasmine, and geranium. And in the base, vanilla, cedar, and musk. And if ever there was proof that marketing and who brings out a scent and time, don't bother me, is with this perfume. Because despite the fact that, you know, Chloe and Lamar didn't um, last, their relationship is no more, I will wear a perfume called Unbreakable Joy with no question, because I love the scent. And might I also add, I really love Chloe as well. I think she's amazing. Very, very strong, inspiring lady. But onto the perfume, which remains to be my Christmas perfume my Christmas day perfume, I know less, and has been for about five years. Oh, so I was so excited to try that one. Now on that sniff, I feel like I'm in a department store in America. So that could have well been the case that I tested this, maybe in Perfume Mania. Might have even bought my bottle there. I don't remember, I've had it a long time. But this is lovely cedar and chocolate for me with a little bit of spice. Now. If you've got to try Mariah Carey's Mine Again perfume, the lovely red butterfly bottle, which until recently you could buy quite easily, um, this smells a bit like that. And I think when I say easily with Mine Again, it was like 2 99 a couple of years ago for a small bottle, whereas now I think you pay kind of more usual prices. I just love this chocolate and festive feel with the champagne for this perfume on Christmas day. See, I was excited to try this and think of Christmas and how perfect with kind of the snow and the, the red. They must have been yeah, going for Christmas marketing with that one, which we don't really see that often, surprisingly. So yeah, Unbreakable Joy is my Christmas scent. And I have to also mention Unbreakable Bond. Sometimes it's Unbreakable, sometimes Unbreakable Bond, depends on the country you're in. But that, if you're in the UK, you can still buy so cheaply for like, I think it's like 2 99 for a tester bottle. And that is a really lovely autumnal apple scent. So yeah, if you can, maybe check that one out as well. This perfume is Rosé Rush by Paris Hilton. In the top of this scent, we have rose petals and lychee. 
In the middle, May Rose, Paya, Papaya and Peony, and in the base, White Musk, Amber and Cedar. And it wasn't too long ago I reviewed all of my Rush perfumes, all of the Paris Hilton Rush perfumes she has available, and so I'll link that below. And for me, this one is all about the timing of when I bought it. It was three years ago that I treated myself to a couple of lovely big parcels of perfumes, and this was among them, and it was about a week before my son was born with the fact that he was born on Christmas Day. So yeah, to smell this to me is like, just kind of magical, but I think it's a really pretty scent regardless. This is indeed like a beautiful sparkling rose. The sparkly bottle suits it perfectly. And it reminds me of the Jo Malone rose scent. But more to my taste, I must admit, because when I smelt that years ago, it wasn't a must have. And then this one with its fruity, kind of mouth-watering lychee in the top. Just smells really good and fun. I can wear a lot of this and feel very happy and uplifted. And I'm thinking actually I might layer this with what I've put on already today because yeah, I wanna feel good. I wanna smell of these fun things today. My favorite of the Paris Hilton Rush scents for sure. I just think it's just so very fun. So very fun, fruity, floral, perfect with a bottle that yeah, looks amazing and I think it would make a really great gift as well. I'm always so surprised when I see these in the UK for well, quite reasonable prices. I know you can buy Platinum Rush for 12 99 at the moment and I just think, yeah, like, I don't know. For me, not enough people get excited about perfume, but yeah, I'd like to see a change in that. This is Rosé Rush. If you like your rose scents and you want something fun and festive, this is one to go for. This perfume is called Bake My Day and it's from Zoella. And the notes are chocolate, gingerbread, cinnamon and vanilla. And I bought this on Vinted earlier this year for a really great price as part of a set. And when planning this video, I thought, if not now, then when? When else will I wear a perfume with those notes and with this name um, and celebrate it a little bit, if not now, for my Christmas videos? So let's give it a sniff. Very toasty cinnamon and like baking, that is good. It almost, it does have a little bit of that gingerbread vibe for me that sometimes I can find a little bit much. But I would love to layer this with Vanilla 28. That's my inspiration for this evening for sure, to layer this one up and see how it does. Oh, that's warm, that's good. Yeah, and this, you know, wasn't even a bad price when it would have been full price. So I had some fun scents. She had Blissful Missful to start off with, which wasn't particularly to my taste, but I liked that it was a kind of a confident scent. And then she had one that I loved, a fruity one. I'll link it when I remember. I know the range that I loved. And in my edit, I will include a photo. Yeah, one of her ranges smelled really, really good. The patisserie one, the patisserie range. So beautiful, I wish I still had some scents from that. I'm going to be looking them up afterwards. Yeah, so this was a little fun thing to find on Vinted this year. But yeah, I need to wear it for Christmas time, of course. With Vanilla 28, see how it does. Bake my day, how perfect for Christmas. Our last scent is Milk and Cookies from 77 Cents. The notes in this include biscuit, nuts, vanilla, and white cocoa accord. And I found I received so much attention on my post for this over on Instagram when I reviewed it. Because look at that cute packaging. It just reminds me of the Blur coffee and TV video and the milk carton, and yeah, the packaging overall certainly gave those vibes. So Olivia, who is the founder and uh, creator of the scents from 77 Cents, describes this as smelling like the um, famous O cookie. Not a cookie biscuit that I'm particularly a fan of personally, but I couldn't resist this and the promise of something foody. Let's give it a test. This has that lovely milky, bakery, biscuity feel to it. It does everything I hoped it would when I bought it, and I like wearing it. And it makes me smile to think of my sister's reaction when I was kind of trying to sell it to her as how great it was and the notes in it. And do you know what, was it my sister? It might have been my husband. No, I think it was my sister. And I said, oh, you know, it's, but it's biscuit though. And it's, you know, it's got like vanilla in it. And she was like, yeah, but to smell of, like as in personally, so yeah, I love to smell of those things. 
This smells so great and I had a lot of American followers on Instagram wish that they could buy the perfumes there. So yeah, I just thought cute vibes for Christmas, Santa, Santa's treats, milk and cookies. This is a great perfume that now will become one of my Christmas reaches. I love it. I'm so pleased to discover the brand and perhaps I need to delve a little bit more into some of the other scents and share them with you as well. So there we have it. They are the perfumes that I love to wear at Christmas. And I would really like to know if you have any particular scents that always take you back to a certain Christmas day or ones that you save and look forward to wearing. You know, just talk to me about your wish list as well. Christmas is so fun for that with perfume. And I'm always that person who, when asked by my family, what do you want for Christmas, birthdays, it's perfume please. There's always a perfume I want that I've got my eye on. So yeah, I absolutely, to be truthful, I'm hoping to get a couple of perfumes for Christmas, which, you know, I'll be back on here sharing and talking about with you as well. So yeah, thank you again for watching and listening to me talk about these scents and my memories. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and remember to subscribe as well. Go and follow me over on Instagram where I post daily and find me on TikTok too. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.